Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Aloran. Aloran is a card that I speculated on about 11 months ago, 12 months ago. I purchased quite a bit of them in October. The card low was actually sometime mid-September where it was, it says 427 right now, but I definitely vividly remembering it being, being under $4 in many places. Now, Aloran, the fact that it went under $5 as a reserve list card and that was the lowest point in time for since, you know, recent modern sets. Uh, that sparked my interest in it. I purchased 27 copies at around $5 a copy. And now those, I traded some of, some of away. I only have like 20 copies now. I don't know what happened to the other um, copies. I'm guessing that I traded them away or maybe they're in some random EDH stack in storage. But assuming that I kept all 27 copies somewhere, I would have made a ton of money. I would have made a killing about, let me calculate that right now. Let's say $1,000 from just a Lauren, a guaranteed speculation that was going to work. And the reason I pick them up in, you know, 27, 18, or 9 is to put them in my collection because my collection is a, uh, every page is 9, and I'm kind of OCD about having them in 9s. So I will never ever have 91 failures. I would either have 90 failures or 99, um, but never 91 because I'm pretty OCD about that. Unless like someone misorders or something and then I have to order a new one from probably like a more expensive vendor. But Alorian was a card and when you're looking at to speculate on a card, here's what I look at. I look at if it's unique, um, because if it's unique, let's take Snapcaster Mage, barring any reprint to Snapcaster Mage, Snapcaster will be reprinted, I'll put that disclaimer in there, but assuming the Snapcaster was on a reserve list as an exercise, every sorcery, every instant makes Snapcaster that much better. So the worst Snapcaster is as a card is today. It's only going to get better because more instants, more sorceries are going to be reprinted every single set and Snapcaster will benefit from that. Aloran is very much the same, and that's why I love the card. Uh, I will explain why I didn't buy more of it, although, like in hindsight, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. I should have gone a little deeper into Aloran's, but uh, uniqueness ability. It has such a unique ability, and it only gets better in time because, as you conspiracy have shown, if another recruiter is reprinted, yes, Aloran will spike. It will double overnight in price, double or triple overnight in price. And that's kind of what I figured. I figured um, just the the one card I remember extremely vivid about this was Dark Depths. So there's two cards that made it expensive: uh, Vampire Hex Maids and Stades, Vespine Stades. I knew for a fact that card could be broken. I did not buy it because for whatever reason I really hated Coke Snap at the time, and I regretted it. So from that point on. I said to myself, nope, you know, if I see something like that where the power level, there could be a card, like another recruiter, to spike its power double overnight, I'm going to buy it at the lowest price point possible. And that was Aloran. Now, the question is, why didn't, if I'm so 100% positive on this card, why didn't I get more of it? Um, the other factor I look at is artwork. And the reason I look at the artwork is uh, mainly for collector purposes. So if the Lorian were to tank, um, it's on a reserve list, by the way, so could never really tank, then I would be okay because then I have pages to look at. And that's the same with Pokemon. I used to play this TCG game called Inuyasha, and the game went away, but I still enjoy it. I still enjoy looking at those pages of uh, five-star Inuyashas, and I get so much enjoyment from that that regardless of whatever happens to the price, I'm going to be okay with it and that's why i only bought 27 of it i wasn't in particularly impressed by the artwork on it i mean the artwork looks a lot better now that it's a 30 dollar card but um at the time you know i was picking up Phileas and malera malera by the way is a 10 dollar card from like a dollar from when i speculated hard on her and uh, Phileas is now like an eight nine dollar card so those turned out well um but lauren was definitely one that i could have bought more I chose not to specifically because the artwork wasn't as attractive to me personally as a Falia or a Malera. So that was it. Anyway, bye guys.